Here, the power of the flames, all hail the queen of fire. Welcome to another Grand Chismo 3 video. Before I get into it, be sure to watch the whole video. Be sure to bring that like button. Light the notification bell on fire. Destroy the subscribe button. Leave a good comment down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter at BurningBlaze27. Uh, and be sure to check out Blue Vibe Velocity and Sonic Central's YouTube links in the description. And uh, good news, I have achieved 50, 50 followers on Twitter. None of you guys care, but I care, because I met 51. Eh, we'll just say, oh, there's a specific girl on our little Sonny's buddies and fans, uh, or friends group that's, uh, that I have an apparent crush on, but I'm not gonna get into that. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is show off all the licenses! Yay! I hated some of them, because they could burn in thousands of fires, some of them. I will be showing off all the licenses and even showing you guys the top eight most hardest tests in this game. For me, why? This for, for me, of course. So I'm just gonna show you guys this. The license. It's cool. Just kind of showing off what it is, but yeah, I have an apparent crush on a girl in our little Sonny's buddies and friends group. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna get into the awkward parts of that because actually we did bond pretty well. Okay, okay, I'll just say it. I actually um. <laughs> what the frick, me? Oh, I just sucked on my sweater, and it made that farty noise. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. What I meant to say was, um, as I show off all these license tests, is that we were bonding for at least an hour or so, and... Yeah. Um, I actually told her I enjoy talking to her, and I, I, I think a little later on in there um, that I was I enjoy talking to her and uh, as a friend, and she told me as a friend, I'm like as a friend and a girl to talk to. Now this actually nearly made me cry because I I said that I love you. It really wanted me to cry. Now I'm done showing all the licenses, but um, back to the story. Uh, and she told me that she thinks that I'm the sweetest and most caring person ever. really makes me want to cry right now. It's... It's the nicest thing a girl has literally ever said to me. It really is. Oh, like, legit, I, I legit nearly cried. I was tear- I- There were tears popping up on my- Easy to tell. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell her name. She is nice to talk to. But we got we bonded like really quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna get off of that subject. You've heard it all now. Now we're gonna discuss, or I'm going to discuss the top eight the hardest tests in this entire game, in my opinion. We're first going to go visit, um, the lovely IA license. I hate this test. This is number one. All time. My, my, the most hated test to me is this one. This one, I was so close to giving up on. 
I was doing, doing a Skype call at the time, and I didn't think I'd be able to beat this one. Like, roughly 300 times later, I beat this one. You don't want to know all the stress, 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 frustration, and anger moments I had in this one. Finding the perfect line and getting the best amount of speed out of that turn is really, really annoying. Now we're going to go visit the S license for S3. This one is the last test that I got a gold on before I completed them all. You might have thought I what I said about IA6 was being was hard. This one takes a lot of skill. You have to be, and I mean absolutely perfect. You cannot lose any amount of momentum, period. If you lose any momentum, like even just like lose two speed or three, you're not gonna get a gold. You have to be perfect. I found out how hard this one was and there was one attempt before I got the gold where I did the time requirement as you see a 152.2. I had a 152.201. The game was a massive joke. It was big. The reason why I said joke also also why I said joke is because there's a C word that I can fill in there, but I'm not gonna say it because that would be. But yeah, this one was annoyingly difficult. Next, we're staying in the S license for this one. This one is kind of a tough one. This Viper that you use for this test, yeah, I used it in the Laguna Six 200 Mile. It is quite an annoying car as far as handling wise. Now, you have to run a really good lap. Like, you have to run a near perfect lap like this one. But except you're in a different car and momentum doesn't really matter, but still, you want to get a good lap. You just see a 116.8. That's a really hard time to beat. Uh, and next, we're going to the A license. We're going to this one. This one, as you see, is Seattle in a Camaro. And my best friend had a really, really, really hard time with this one. Uh, I showed up, uh, I think it was yesterday, or last night, I think I did this one last night. And it took me a few tries, but it took me roughly around 15 tries to get a gold. This one is hard, but easily doable. You have to, like, get that turn, like, properly apexed. You have to get a good amount of speed. If you hit the inside wall, outside wall, you're not gonna get a gold. You're, you're just not. The best time you could probably get is a 14.18. That's probably the best you're gonna get. Because I think that's what I got. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this is number five. This circle test is annoying only because of the fact it's a circle. And I'm glad they never existed in GT4. This one, I would say, is actually hard. But in reality, it really wasn't as difficult as I thought. Yeah, th these tests, by the way, I really sucked at when I was a kid. Like, I know in the last Gran Turismo 3 video, you've seen all silver. Now you see all gold. But yeah, A5 is hard, but it's not as hard as it looks. Basically, you have to hug the car on the curbs and have a good amount of speed. So, there's strategy for that one. Next one, we're heading to the R license. Uh, this one is an SOB. I missed gold time by like two hundredths of a second if I remember right. That's how much I remember missing this one by. 
Uh, we're staying in the rally license. R6. I don't even know how, what number I'm on. I think it's a 6 or 7. I'm probably wrong. Uh, R6. Right after... Well, first I should say that we did a Skype call, of course. I did this one. Uh, right after my best friend beat it, I beat it. Well, I basically followed his footsteps for this one. Let me just say... You're probably wondering why this one is not ranked higher. This one is a B word. B word. It's a B word. Uh, because there's no like given like line to take to these hairpins. Now, the key to these ones. It's kind of an interesting one. You have to use the handbrake, which is circle button for me if you're using automatic, but if you're using manual, I have no freaking idea. Basically, yeah, handbrake is your best friend for that one. Um, oh, yes. This one. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, B8 was annoying. It was the last one in the B license to get. But now I'm gonna go over the hardest test in each of the sections. Starting off with the B license. Do I really have to explain this one? You already know from GT2. Or GT1 or whatever. I have nothing to say on this one other than it's a massive SOB. It's a pain in my butt to get this. It's a pain in your butt to, for this one. Oh, this car handles so bad. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have any words for this one, how horrible it is. You already know it. A license. Um, There's a few, like this one, this one. Probably the circle one. But probably I'd say it would be the most annoying one. Would probably be this one. Yeah, A7 and A5 are rather annoying, but A8 is way worse. So, you know how in GT2, where you have that runoff room? All that runoff room at the hairpin? Yeah, it doesn't exist in this game. It's sand. You fail. You go off track. That happened to me a few times. Let me just say that this car gets loads of oversteer at that uh, hairpin. It, this car, the Evo 4, is a crappy car in the first place. And let's just say I failed many times just because of the fact of how much oversteer I got at the hairpin. Also, that kink can go die. <laughs> That's all I'm going to put it. I B What else do I have to say about this test being a massive jerk? I hated this test. I tried this test last night. I couldn't even budge a freaking I couldn't even budge a 23 at all. I couldn't I I couldn't even really do a 24.0. And yet I somehow got it, but this one I got on my first try. Somehow I did. I don't know how I did. Apparently Blaze was with me. Because yes, if you didn't know, I always have Blaze cheer me on. <laughs> like, she's like my cheerleader to me. But there are some there are other ones on IB license like these two, the wet ones that are annoying. Be surprised I didn't put them in there because they're actually kinda hard. But yeah, I give IB6 the hardest one in this one. I... I already mentioned it earlier. I don't need to explain this one as well. Like I did, like I didn't be eight. IA6 is... Like... You can fill in as many bad words as you want. It's that bad. It took me... So long. It took me about... Since the gold time was a 20.1, I probably, if I had to guess, 
took me over a hundred plus tries. Yeah, it's that hard. That's why I give the crown for the hardest test. Probably not in the IA, but probably the hardest in the actual game. Because uh, the car you drive handles like complete, you know, it handles really bad. There's so many bad things I could give this test. <laughs> Some of which I'm not going to say because some of them involve bad words, so I'm not going to say it. Other than that, you don't really need explanation on it. That's license. Uh, what? This one or this one? Uh, God. I'll give S3 the crown for this one because, as I mentioned, you have to keep your momentum high. If you hit the wall just the tiniest little bit, you're not going to get a gold trophy. You have to keep perfect speed. Basically, if you tag the wall just the slightest little bit, no. And you can't slow down. There's, like, no room for error in this one. This one, as I mentioned, was the last one I got a gold trophy on. And would perhaps say the most difficult test in the S license. Not saying it's as hard as IA6, but IA6 is actually worse than this one. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> yeah. It was not fun. And the rally license. You're gonna be shocked by this one. I give this one the hardest one. Only because of the fact that hairpin is hard to get right. Like, there's a certain time you have to reach the split by, which is like a 13.8, 13.7. Yeah. This one gave me a lot of problems, and the most restarts, I'd say, out of all of them. You're probably expecting R6 or R8, no. R5 gave me the most troubles. I thought it was, I thought R8 was gonna be bad. Or maybe one of these other ones, but you know. I actually golded this one on my first try. Are you surprised? Because I actually am a little bit surprised. But yeah, R5, I give it the crown the hardest one. You can, you have to, like, do that hairpin perfectly. And then the last turn is just kind of, you know, another turn you can't screw up. And what I did for strategy for this one, that hairpin, the first one, is I actually slowed down to second gear, turned in, or no way, I went all the way out, drifted the car into fifth gear, slowed it down into second, wrapped it around the hairpin, and hopefully got enough exit speed, and then hope to God that I would get a good split time of at least 13.7, 13.8, and then take the final turn at about 65 to 70, and hopefully I get a good acceleration off the exit of the turn, and hopefully get it right and get a gold. That's my strategy for it. It took me a while to get it right, but yeah. So that is it for this one. I'm gonna put this one in where I beat GT3. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna play through this game again on my birthday. But I may be doing something a little different. You'll find out in a few months. <laughs> Ooh. On my birthday. I may be doing an LP on this game. Maybe. I don't know for sure. There were some pretty hard things. <laughs> You're actually probably going to see me fail a lot of these distances. I'm going to especially hate IB6, IB7, IA6. And S3, but still, that's going to end it for this one. This was kind of a long one. Uh, I didn't want it to be so long, but you know, it ended up over 19 minutes long. God. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this pretty lengthy video that I didn't want to be so lengthy. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I don't really know what's gotten into me in the lack of videos. But, uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to burn that like button. 
destroy the subscribe button, light the notification bell on fire, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter, BurningBlaze27, be sure to check out all my other YouTube videos, check out all the playlists, uh, and be sure to go check out Blue Vivocity and Sonic Central, their YouTube links are in the, excuse me, their YouTube links are in the description below as always, and I'm happy that I reached 50 plus followers on Twitter, 51, my best, my, my, Okay, I'm not bringing that up again. <laughs> not the followers part, but my crush. So-called crush. But, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the Queen of Fire saying, get you guys soon.